there was one night when I was walking by and uh, I was watching from down further down the hill and then I decided to come up and so for a while I couldn't see because the trees were blocking and during that time there was this big roar from the crowd and it sounded like someone had just scored a touchdown or something. Well, I think it's an interesting phenomenon because these birds do mass in these kinds of large numbers. And it's in an area where you can actually sit and gather and watch it and be with the other enthusiasts that enjoy this kind of natural phenomenon. The Audubon has been having a hosting of the migration in September since the early 80s. Sometimes you see schools of fish and video from beneath the ocean and they're going around in a circle and it looks similar to them swirling around above the chimney. But the interesting thing in this case is that for quite a while no, none of them are going into the chimney. They're just circling above it and then finally, I don't, I, of course I can't tell how many it is, but I'm guessing maybe it's just one who goes into the chimney that particular swift may have certain leadership qualities. They build those unique nests out of little twigs and their own spit. It sticks the little nest together inside of an old snag, which would be an old hollow tree, or inside of a chimney that's not being used. You know, these swifts at some point, they learned that that chimney is, is good and has value and is attractive. And they weren't born knowing that. The hawk, the predator, has arrived. <laughs> He's on the edge of the chimney tonight. Yes. If you look through the scope and you see the beauty of that Cooper's hawk, you can't vote for either one, quite frankly. And it is the circle of life, as they say. I think the crowd is here for the Swifts, even though the spectacle of the hawk makes the drama happen. <laughs> so they're always going to root for the little guy, but the hawk will always make off of something. He won't give up until he's had his dinner.